Hi, fellow Webflowers. If you're new to this channel, I am Nico, Webflow developer and co-founder of Bloggerdin, the one and only Webflow partner agency in Munich, Bavaria. So in today's video, we take a look at Swiper.js and we'll take a look at this specific slider. So this is really cool and it's applied using the Swiper.js API. And what we're going to do is I'll show you right away in Webflow how this works. All right, so let's jump into Webflow. So in Webflow, you basically see a HTML markup and you'll see some code. So we'll go over the script and then I'll explain the HTML markup. All right, so inside of Webflow, we have first of all the style sheet of Swiper.js and then we have the script of Swiper.js. I will link these, all these codes inside of the description where you can just go onto the website and then get it by yourself. All right, and then we have the more exciting part for me, I think, is the call. So how do you actually use this script? So what we're gonna do here is we get a new variable and yeah, we call it swiper and we get a new swiper with the class of swiper container. So notice, and I'll go to the HTML markup, the swiper container class is our swiper container class right here. So this class right here, the whole swiper container has to be the same like any code because otherwise it won't work. Okay, and now let's go further. So we have the first effect and that's called cover flow. So this effect is applying this effect, what you can see right there. It's called cover flow in this documentation. Then we have loop just to yeah, make it endlessly. Then grab cursor true, so we have a cursor. Centered slide, so everything centered. A speed of 1000, it's just basically um, the speed of how fast will one slide go to the next slide. Then we have slides per view auto, that's nothing to worry about. Next is cover flow effect. That's basically the effect which, yeah, which gets rendered basically, because what you can see, there's a rotate, for example, of 50. I could, yeah, make this rotate to 200. And what you then see, save and then publish. So what you now see is that it's a little bit more crazy. So yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so then it's getting, <laughs> it's getting really fast. Look, that's, that's not what we wanted actually, but you see, you can apply different functionalities. Okay, next one, stretch and depth. And there are a lot of different options and you can basically go into the documentation and I encourage you to, to do that because there are so many different options. And if you are on the Swiper.js website, you can just go onto the Swiper API and then you have the whole documentation down here. So I really encourage you to go over the documentation and read and get all the different effects inside and see whether one effect may be perfect for your project. All right, let's go further with the JS. Then we have our pagination and that's a class with Swiper pagination. And inside of the HTML markup, you'll see we'll have a div inside and it has a class of Swiper pagination. And that's then creating this pagination class right here in the bottom. And next what we have is we have our preview buttons. And yeah, basically they're gated by the class of Swiper button next and Swiper button preview. Don't worry about this whole code, I will just put this clonable inside of the Webflow community and then you can just clone that yeah, and basically use it on your own. Okay, and that's the swipe button next and the swipe button preview. And we also have a diff class for that. So we have a diff of swipe button next and a diff of swipe button preview. And in the yeah, actual project, these two different arrows will then get applied. And for the HTML markup, what's very important is that you set the whole swiper container to a height of 100 VH for this particular example. Of course, if you have a swiper which is on a yeah, lower height, then you can set it to a lower height, but the height of the swiper container must be set in the swiper container class. Okay, and then we have basically our swiper wrapper and our swiper slide. And the swiper slide is just a flex box which is then set to relative because of the C image, which is set to absolute. And then we have our heading and that's just the basic HTML markup. Okay, and then basically when we yeah, publish a project, we'll have our slider. 
Yeah, and I think actually from from all these sliders that I've uh, also <laughs> that I've already introduced from Siamer and Splite and Slick, this slider, the Swiper slider, is yeah the most coolest and the one with the coolest yeah with the coolest options which you can take. Like for example, this slider that that's like it's like crazy. And yeah, I really encourage you to go through the whole documentation. There's also this uh, this cool demos. Uh, yeah, option which you can go on and there you have different demo classes so you have for example the default container that's the, the normal slide um, but you then have also the navigation then you have paid like what they do basically here they introduce all different sliders the slider that i've here yeah, introduced to you right here is basically this slider but the slide is basically set to a width 100 percent and the height of 100 gh so then it gets to a full page mode and then it looks like this. But it's basically this slider. Okay, and there's also this cool slider, which I think, which I think is really cool. <laughs> it's like a cube and that's, that's also really great. And yeah, so there are a ton of different cool sliders out there and you should really give it a try and use it on your own. Not, not only clone my project, but also go into the documentation and try your own slider. That's it for the slider video. I hope it was insightful for you. If you are an agency, a business, and you want to migrate to Webflow to feel the power of Webflow, you, for example, want to have this particular slider, then you can contact us at contact at blogged.de or just go into our website, bloggedin.de and give us a request. All right, that's it for the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. That's helping the algorithm. And yeah, we see each other in the next video. Until then, happy coding.